portfolio like our competitors. We've kept it super lean, super mean. In fact, in 2020, we only launched five phones. All these five phones went on to do more than a million units each. Now, this tremendous success in that portfolio meant Poco became the number three brand in online in just 10 months. In fact, in 2021, we've not changed this philosophy either. Poco continues to have one of the leanest portfolios in the industry. We've only done the Poco M3, M3 Pro and X3 Pro so far. I'm really happy to share that the success that we are seeing continues even today. And happy to announce that the Poco M3 has also sold more than 1 million phones. We continue to have amazing devices, devices like the Poco X3 Pro. Now the X3 Pro is a very special phone for all of us. It is the sole successor for the Poco F1. And just like the Poco F1, the X3 Pro gives you tremendous performance to price ratio. Well, it has to because it's the only phone in the world that has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 860. And that also made it the most powerful phone ever launched in India under 20,000 rupees. Today we are in July and it continues to be unbeaten. I doubt anyone's going to change that in the near future as well. And the next part about being mad is democratizing decision making. And we recently took a massive leap forward in that direction. We launched the Poco community. Now at the moment it's in beta, but I really want to thank all of you guys for the overwhelming applications that we got for the beta testing. Out of thousands and thousands of applications, currently we've got selected 300 people who are helping us on a daily basis fine tune this community so that we can bring it to a lot more people. But while we're talking about community, I want to reiterate the fact that we are completely focused on your privacy and data security. And we're taking all possible steps to make this happen. And to ensure that your privacy as well as the entire experience is top notch, we had our first community meet recently. Now these 300 people are being elevated to a founder tag. So later on, when you guys join the Poco community, when you see a little founder badge in front of these people, you will know who started it all. Now that brings me to the third part of Made of Mad, which is ever evolving. Now we just said that the Poco X3 Pro is the sole successor of Poco F1, which meant we had to evolve the F series. There's another aspect to it. When we were looking at all the phones in the mid premium segment, we saw a sense of linearity. Let me explain that. What you got at 15,000 goes up to a 20,000 and you get slightly better specs, maybe slightly better experience hopefully. When you go from 20 to 30, it's the same. Except when you get to a 30,000 or when you get to a 40,000, the law of diminishing returns kicks in. That means you're not really getting your money's worth and you're not really getting any excitement. A year back when we were looking at what we should do for the F-Series and we looked at the entire market and we kept wondering, where is the innovation? Which means the Poco F3 had to do a lot more. It had to be a GT. So what is this GT? GT stands for Grand Tourers. Grand Tourers, let me just break it up further. It actually stood for those racing cars where the grand part was talking about these cars being magnificent in appearance and style. And the Toro part of it was capturing this sense of adventure. Something that brings in that look, that magnificent look and the sense of adventure in one are the GT cars. And much like the GT cars, we have today the Poco F3 GT. Performance that goes the distance in style. And just like we mentioned, all your phones have this linearity to them, lacking innovation, or basically being boring, on the Poco F3 GT, you are going to see duality. A brilliant phone on its own right, but then with a great possibility of really, really switching it up. Introducing the all new Poco F3 GT. Time to really switch it up. And just like the Grand Tourer cars, the Poco F3 GT takes experience in this segment to an all new level. And of course, experience, just like the GTs, is about design, it's about performance, but taking it beyond that, as it's a phone, 
we need to take care of cameras and your overall immersion with that device. And this is exactly what we will talk about in the subsequent segments. Now, what makes great design? Or what makes the Poco F3 GT the best design phone that this segment has ever seen? Probably the amount of thought that's gone into this craftsmanship. Every aspect of the phone has been worked upon for a reason. Let me talk about the first one. And again, this is a first for Poco. We are using an aircraft grade aluminium frame. Now this entire metallic frame gives you that sense of rigidity. It's been finished in a way no other phone has ever been. Now, if you look closely, you'll be able to see three different types of bevels on this frame. Now that's really hard to do. But let me talk about why it was necessary on the F3 GT. In the middle, you've got a radial bevel. This is the most comfortable grip that you can get. But then when you move to the sides or the edges here, that turns into a more square bevel. So that lets the F3 GT sit on your palm a lot more securely. It's also great when you're trying to take photographs and you're scared that the phone might slip and fall. That gives you that superior grip. And on the top and the bottom, or if you're gaming on the left and right, you've got a concave bevel. Now, this is brilliant when you're holding your device tightly and this gets you superior grip and comfort all in that same frame. Nobody's ever tried it, but we are absolutely sure you would love this. Now, extending beyond this extraordinary frame is Gorilla Glass 5, both in the front and the back. But the back Gorilla Glass 5 is unlike anything you felt before. It goes through a 22 stage manufacturing process, giving you this amazing feel. It feels unlike any other phone that you've held. Right from the time you pick it up from the box, it will be unputdownable. Now we've not stopped there. The purposeful craftsmanship goes all the way to even the camera. This is probably the smallest camera bump that you would ever see. And that bump essentially is coming in only to protect the camera glass. There's a metal that goes all around and there's a small lip that comes over so that when you're keeping this on your table, you're not scared about scratches. And because it's completely flush, you're not really concerned about the wobble either. Now this combination of super premium materials and craftsmanship all comes together to give you a device unlike any other and a design unlike any other. And we're calling this design the all new slipstream design. And this amazing device comes in two different colors. In my hand, what you can see is the Predator Black. The entire finish is this amazing matte black. It's really hard to see. It's stealthy, almost like probably a ninja. The other advantage is it does not get smudges or fingerprints. Other color that we have on the Poco F3 GT is the gunmetal silver. Now, as the name suggests, it's got this tinge of gray, blue coming into the silver, making it really stand out. Now, gunmetal silver is the exact opposite of the Predator Black. It is not stealthy and you can clearly figure out where the metal meets the glass. And then let's talk about the amazing GT switches. This is the part where the Poco F3 GT breaks away from the boring nature of all the phones that you see in its segment. It gives this phone, the Poco F3 GT, the ability to really switch it up. The GT switches. Hey guys, welcome to the mad side. This is where we take things to the next level. We're taking things turbo. Anuj introduced us to the revolutionary GT switches. We're here to understand what these switches unleash. At a flick of a switch, what gets unleashed are what we're calling maglev triggers. Have you ever wondered why gamers prefer mechanical keyboards over those flimsy ones you find in the market? It is because of its tactical response and accurate button presses. The most premium form of mechanical keyboards are magnetic. But unfortunately, these keyboards are extremely expensive. We are proud to say that we have managed to bring that technology onto a mobile phone, onto the Poco F3 GT. Let's understand how these beauties work. For that, let me take you back to school for just a little bit. The principles of magnetism. Opposites attract, like poles repel. 
our engineers have managed to take that very simple concept and make something radically cool in the form of our maglev triggers so what essentially happens is there are two sets of triggers one on the switch and one on the capacitor when the gt switches are engaged what happens are both the magnets line up one on top of the other with their like poles close to each other causing the triggers to be pushed up or levitating them what you typically find in high end gaming phones are what are called air triggers or capacitive buttons let us now find out how maglev triggers are better than them air triggers are difficult to find whereas maglev triggers pop up and can easily be found via touch air triggers are slower and dependent on touch response latency unlike maglev triggers which are physical and these buttons are made of the highest quality and have been tested for more than 1 and 1/2 million presses by our team but this is the gt and we want to push the madness even further on the grand side of the grand tourer we've installed tactical rgb glow lights and then we thought why can't the flash look like a flash and now let's switch back this is how the poco f3 gt looks like and like we said gt stands for grand tourers we just spoke about the grand part of it magnificent in appearance and style to summarize this amazing slipstream design you've got aerospace grade aluminum frame blending into gorilla glass 5 in the front and the back the back gorilla glass 5 has gone through 22 steps in manufacturing giving you a glass feel unlike any other and you also have the all new gt switches flicking this switch brings up the amazing maglev triggers again a first in the segment now that was the grand part of gt time to switch it up on the toro side that brings alive your spirit of adventure and the adventure starts off with a sensory delight let's see what you see on the f3 gt on the f3 gt we've got a 120 hertz reality floor display it is super smooth as you've come to expect from poco in fact we've been using 120 hertz displays on some of our best phones for the last one and a half years and today we are switching it up we finally have an amoled display good enough for a poco and it's not just an amoled It's an effing turbo amulet. Now we at Poco don't do things normally, and that means whatever we are doing needs to provide you with the most optimum experience. Now this turbo amulet that we are talking about here comes with 480 hertz of touch sampling. 480. Now that makes it not only one of the most beautiful displays out there, but also one of the fastest. And what do I mean by fastest? When you are gaming on the Poco F3 GT, you are actually leveling up your game without even knowing about it. Every single action is instantaneous. And trust me guys, you really need to experience it to understand what I'm really speaking about. Not just a fast display, but an exceptionally color accurate one. What I mean by that is Poco F3 GT's display covers the entire spectrum of the DCI-P3 color gamut, making it incredibly realistic for your entire content consumption experience. And not just DCI-P3 We also have a 10 bit panel on the Poco F3 GT which basically means you can see 1 billion colors billion with a b that is 64 times more than a regular 8 bit panel that you see on other phones not just that this is an HDR 10 plus display that means when you're watching movies or consuming content on the Poco F3 GT you're able to see better colors better contrast even in those shaded areas it's crystal clear but one of the most important aspects of choosing the right display on the Poco F3 GT was DC dimming uh, it's a big science on its own but to simplify it almost every phone with AMOLED in this class will give you eye strain at really low brightness with DC dimming we eliminate that so you don't really get that flickering if you have DC dimming So if you're reading something at night or watching a movie in darkness with the Poco F3 GT you don't really have to worry about eye strain. Another aspect of this experience is the haptic feedback. Now all of you guys loved the Z-Shockers that we had on a couple of previous Poco phones 
and today we are switching it up. On the POCO F3 GT, you actually get an X-axis haptic motor. The X shockers give you unbelievable feedback if you are gaming or using the phone on a regular basis. And to make the overall experience even more immersive, the POCO F3 GT introduces an all-new technology. It's called Chip on Panel. COP or Chip on Panel compared to Chip on Glass or Chip on Film gives you an incredibly small bezel or the bottom chin. See, every display needs a display driver chip. And this traditionally sits on the glass. A couple of years back, some manufacturers were able to move this on a film and hence get some valuable real estate back from the bottom of the phone and hence a smaller bezel. With the POCO F3 GT, the fact that we've used an incredibly thin AMOLED panel, we're able to fold the panel back and keep the display driver or the chip on that panel itself, which means one of the smallest bezels that you would see on any phone in the segment period. Now, how small are we talking about? The bottom bezel is just 2.7 mm, which basically means the POCO F3 GT's display completely blends in on all sides, giving you a perfect symmetry, whether you're watching a movie or playing your next game. And to step up this movie or gaming experience, we are introducing Dolby Atmos on the POCO F3 GT. Now, as you guys already know, Dolby Atmos is the world's leading audio tech. And on the F3 GT, it puts you at the center of the action. And this sound technology is paired with two high fidelity stereo speakers. They sound and look unlike any other device or any other speakers that you would have seen. What's also great about these speakers is they are high res certified, which means even on the lower frequencies, the response is brilliant. So to summarize, you've got a 6.67 inch, 120 Hertz turbo AMOLED display. Now this display has a category best 480 Hertz touch sampling. You also have a 10 bit panel and it supports HDR 10 plus. And of course, you've got speakers unlike anything else that you've heard before, all powered by Dolby Atmos. The next part of this adventure is of course performance. If it's a POCO, performance is pretty much given to be best in the segment. However, we are switching it up to the next dimension, literally. We are using the all new Dimensity 1200. Now this is an incredible chip. Now the Dimensity 1200 is built on a six nanometer process, which gives you incredible efficiency as well as thermals. And it's also running the flagship A78 cores, giving you a performance gain of up to 22% and an efficiency gain of 25%. And it's not limited to just pure performance numbers. With the new Hyper Engine 3.0, you're also getting some really cool tech like ray tracing on your phone. But we know that just one processor isn't what defines your performance. It's actually a performance trinity. And we at Coco have talked about it multiple times. It is a combination or a trinity of your processor, your RAM and storage. And of course, we are switching it up on the other sections as well. Now, POCO F3 GT comes with a dual channel UFS 3.1 storage all the way to 256 GB. Now, this is the fastest storage available on any smartphone period. And we are combining this with a super fast RAM going up all the way to 8 GB. And the POCO F3 GT is also 5G enabled. So ready to take on the 5G network whenever it starts rolling out in India. Now that was cool, but things are gonna get even more cooler. The POCO F3 GT comes with an 11,540 millimeter square large vapor chamber. What that means is when you're performing a high intensive task such as gaming, the heat which is generated inside is efficiently transferred outside without you feeling the pinch. Not only that, but the device also comes equipped with a white graphene heat sink. Now it's boringly known as hexagonal boron nitride, but this aerospace grade material is actually used in the construction of rocket nozzles for its exceptional heat management properties. Overkill? Nah, I think that's just mad. Compared to any other existing material in the market, the POCO F3 GT actually runs a lot cooler. How much cooler you ask? 
It runs 2 degrees cooler at any given time thanks to this white graphene heatsink. Now, on to my favorite software edition in the POCO F3 GT. The Game Turbo for GT. Game Turbo actually comes with some exhaustive GPU settings, allowing you to choose between balanced, high quality and power saving modes based on your gaming needs. You can even individually customize the settings to your liking, including playing with the frame rate or optimizing the graphics. My personal favorite though has got to be the ability to enhance the visuals of whichever game you are playing, giving you multiple options to boost colors, saturation and the overall look and feel of the game. POCO F3 GT actually comes with a really cool gaming Wi-Fi antenna. What that means is basically when you are gaming, you always have access to the fastest data connectivity you need for modern day games. What's more, the F3 GT comes with a third independent mic. Most phones have a mic at the top as well as at the bottom. Now these three mics ensure you're always heard when you're gaming. Awesome, right? To sum it up, the POCO F3 GT is quite a performer. You've got the amazing trinity of Dimensity 1200, along with super fast dual channel UFS 3.1 and up to 8 GB of RAM. But we're obviously not stopping there. It's also got one of the largest vapor chambers to keep it cool and an industry first white graphene heat sink, which makes it even cooler. And giving you complete control over your gaming experience, we also have Game Turbo, where you can choose and pick the right settings for you to get that perfect shot every time. Now speaking about perfect shots, Let's talk cameras. On the POCO F3 GT, you're getting a triple camera setup, giving you amazing output from all three. You've got a 64 megapixel primary, you've got an 8 megapixel ultra wide, and you also have a 2 megapixel that acts as a macro sensor. But this is not the 64 MP cameras that you know. This has two main differentiators. The first differentiator is coming in through ED glass. Now, the ED glass or extra low dispersion glass is important in lens design because of the ability to reduce the level of chromatic aberration or color fringing. Now, this technology is normally found in DSLR lenses. With ED, you can reduce color fringing or dispersion of light that you would normally see if you were using a regular lens. This essentially leads to a loss of contrast, color tonality, and even the image sharpness takes a hit. The chemical makeup of the ED glass results in overall better color saturation, contrast, and the image detail. Now, ED lenses are also important when it comes to capturing more light, and hence, what we all like, brighter images. And the second thing that makes the 64 megapixel camera go beyond others is the segment best f-stop ratio of just 1.65. Now, what does this f-stop ratio mean to you? Larger aperture. Larger apertures obviously mean letting in more light and having brighter, clearer images. And you can also use faster shutter speeds in low light conditions, giving you a much better image. Now, that's enough talk. Let's actually see what this camera is capable of. So, GT, Grand Tourer, magnificent in appearance and style, and obviously tugging on your sense of adventure. But what good is an adventure if you can't really go the distance? Let's talk about the endurance on F3 GT. Now, with POCO, you've come to expect a weekend battery, a two-day battery that lets you go on your own adventures. And that does not change even with the F3 GT. The POCO F3 GT comes with a massive 5065 mAh battery. Yes, I know, you would be a little concerned in terms of does that make the phone bulky? Well, we are following the slipstream design philosophy and happy to see with all the innovations that we've already spoken about, this design comes in at just 8.3 mm. It's not only sleek, it's sexy too. Now this battery gives you amazing run times. You can listen to music over its speakers for 56 hours straight. Or if you're gaming, you get 9 hours. Or if you're watching videos, you can go an entire day, which is almost 23 hours on a single charge. Now, if you run out of charge, is where we had a massive dilemma. You know, whether you go for a pretty quick 
33 watt MMT that you've seen and loved on the POCO X3, X3 Pro? Or do we try and do something more? And this is where a concern comes in. Charging your battery too quickly can also damage it. It can reduce the overall charge cycles that your battery can hold. Uh, and we've seen this come about in various studies, including a couple of brands who've also acknowledged the fact that really fast charging can harm your battery. But hey, this is the GT and it comes with a 67 watt charger in the box. And this takes the F3 GT from 0 to 50 in just 15 minutes. That is a whole day's charge in 15 minutes flat. But beyond that, what it does is smartly reduce the wattage it supplies to your battery to ensure your battery doesn't get damaged and it lasts a really, really long time. And this phone also comes with a special kind of cable that can deliver this much wattage to your phone safely and securely. This cable has two cool things, I guess. One, it comes in everybody's favorite, Poco Yellow. And two, it is L-shaped, making it very easy for you to hold the phone while charging it. So when it comes to endurance or charging, the F3 GT brings in the best of both worlds. You've got a large 5065 mAh battery in a super sleek design. But that's not all. We've also implemented smart charging. You're going all the way up to 67 watts and 50% in just 15 minutes. And of course, you guys would love the Poco Yellow charging cable included with every phone. Now let's see how the POCO F3 GT compares with some of the recent launches. Right off the bat, the POCO F3 GT looks like nothing else you've seen out there. Now with the slipstream design and the 22-step glass pack, and of course you've got the aerospace grade aluminium frames, the F3 GT is far better built than anything else out there. But not just that, we're also talking about the best sound and display in its class. You have a 120 Hz Turbo AMOLED coupled with a 480 Hz touch sampling. Far, far higher than what others are offering. But we are not stopping there. You also have the largest battery and the fastest charger. And we are not stopping there. Like we said, everything you need and a lot, lot more. You've got the first in its class GT switches. And with that switch, your entire experience shifts. You've got maglev triggers, again, something that nobody else has been able to attempt or bring to the market, but we're not stopping there. We said we are going far beyond the linearity that you see in normal phones. And on the F3 GT, we are bringing in a whole bunch of F factors. We've also got the industry first GT switches. As addictive as they are to play around with, they bring up another industry first, which are the maglev triggers. And of course, let's not forget the Tactical Glow RGB that really make you stand out in that sea of sameness. Now that is the POCO F3 GT. If I have to sum it up, there are a lot of things to talk about, but maybe I'll talk about the key highlights. Now the POCO F3 GT will be available in these two awesome colors and three memory variants. You will have the 6GB, 128GB variant, you'll have the 8, 128, and the 8GB to 56GB for those people who really want to push it. The 6128 is available at rupees 2699, the 8128 at 2899, and the 8256 at 3999. But we know a lot of you guys have been waiting for this day for a really long time, almost three years. And for you guys, we have decided to change our business model on its head. We are introducing something called MRP for the POCO F3 GT. Now what is MRP? Maybe I need to be on the mad side to explain that. Now MRP for POCO actually stands for mad reverse pricing. Now what is MAD reverse pricing? It's taking a fundamental industry law and turning it on its head. You see, every phone launches at its highest possible price. And then as the months go by, you start seeing discounts. You know who loses in this entire thing? 
the fans who really waited for that product. Those guys pay the highest amount. We are switching that. On the POCO FC GT, we wanted to give the maximum benefit to our fans. And that's why in week one, they will be able to get the 6128, 8128 and the 8256 GB variants for an incredible price of 2599, 2799 and 2999. We wanted to start with the lowest and then go up, unlike everyone else in the industry. In week two, this price goes up by another 500. And obviously, as you can see, in week three is when we finally hit the actual price, the prices that we just announced. Now this way, what we wanted to do was for all those people who waited and waited for the POCO F3 GT, get the maximum benefit. And the people who come in later on, still get an incredible device at an incredible price. So that is the POCO F3 GT. The pricing and the availability is on your screen right now. Can't wait for you guys to switch it up to the POCO F3 GT. Now thank you for watching and joining us. Take care and stay safe. Bye now.